Good day everyone and welcome to today's video. I am headed to a photo shoot for which you guys probably already know is my tour announcement. Yes! I'm going on tour, I know. Pretty crazy. Uh, if you guys don't know where I'm going, all the stops will be in the link down below because this is going up after. How do you know? Because I know. So, this is our first look. I live, I die, I'm resurrected as a flower. This is so cool, I have little chamomile flowers in my hair, little brow. This is the new beauty trend of brows. Honestly, that would be everything if this became like the new trend. But I'm so excited, these photos have turned out so incredible. I'm shooting with Michael Becker, who I've shot with uh, hundreds of times in the past. We did this really cool shot where I have a giant flower in my mouth. You've already seen it probably, but I'm so happy with how the shoot's turning out. And this light is so bomb. Hey, look at that arm. I love the gym shorts with the like very fashionable look. This is look number three. I have some sunflower petals dangling from my eyes of bright wow. petals. Do you need a Claritin? Yeah. Drama. Yeah. Drama, drama, drama. Cool. Okay guys, so as you guys know, Molly dyed my hair this really like a boss. cool colors. Like a like a pro. <laughs> Under here. <laughs> I have the green in the front, I have the pink and the purple. Riza is going to take it all out, because set me back to natural. I do appreciate, it's just, it's just, I don't want the reveal to be too premature. So Riza, can you, can you fix me? I can totally fix it. <laughs> I mean, you use the word fix. Did I say fix? I meant, oh. I think I want to do my next hair color in this purpley pink that you have inspired me with. But do like, both colors. Don't yeah. Do no, just like a total like yeah, mixture. Yeah. Yeah. So, is this gonna be an easy removal? Yeah. Is it even on you right now? No, it's not. <laughs> I can't see. Um, it's just an eraser. Like you're just gonna take a pencil eraser and just rub it against I'm my just hair. I'm gonna have a magic wand <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, Lengarium Leviosa. Oh gosh, my wig will fly then. Draco Malfoy in the house. Uh, my hair is a complete blank slate now. I'm sorry, my dear, but your your hard work and your gorgeous talent has been removed from my head. <laughs> I feel it. It still feels so healthy. Yeah, it does. It doesn't feel damaged at all. Good job, Risa. It's so crazy. It's literally a blank slate right now. It's all like one tone. It's it's like perfect. So what are you doing from here? I think I'm gonna go blonde, like a, a natural. So right now you're white, right? I'm like a, if it was if it was dry, yes, it would be like white, but it's um, there's a little bit of yellowness to it, but it's just like bleach. Blonde. So you're gonna add some like natural blonde to it. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, I'm blonde again. I absolutely love it. Brisa, you killed it, girl. I love the color, it's so pretty. I feel like it looks so natural on me, especially because I had a lot of blonde cousins growing up and I was always like the brown, little bit of blonde, but having it like this, I just kind of feel like my cousins when I was growing up, so it feels very natural. But guys, I just got my Dollar Shave Club box in the mail, and by the way, thank you Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's video, but I want to do a little unboxing, showing you guys all the cool things that it comes with, so let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so it comes in this cute little mini box. Oh, you look great, says everyone. Oh, your bathroom reader. This will be perfect for my light reading for when I'm taking a poopy or I don't know doing what else I do in the bathroom. Ooh, a member's handbook. This seems very exclusive. Okay, so that probably just gives you information. Very exclusive information, but you have to get the box to know what's inside that. There's a razor, obviously, that comes with it. Wow, this feels very strong and very heavy and like a good quality razor. And then there's some razor heads in here. Cute, love. Then we have one wipe Charlie's. Oh yes. If you guys don't already use flushable wipes, moist wipes for your bum, you should probably start switching over to that because toilet paper doesn't get everything. But a wipe 
makes you nice and fresh and clean down there. So these are aloe vera and chamomile. The civilized way to wipe. That is right. So it comes with three of those. Next we have easy shave butter. So this is to help with shaving instead of shaving cream. Shave butter. Gorgeous. And then lastly we have the Calming Amber Lavender Body Cleanser. I absolutely love lavender scent, so I'm very excited about this. But yeah, that's everything the box comes with. So if you guys want to check it out, I will put a link down below. And as always, I have the homey hookup for you guys. So if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash joeygraceffa, you can get your daily essential starter set for only $5. So go join the club. And again, just go to dollarshaveclub.com slash joeygraceffa and you can get this special offer that I present to you guys. Hello there, everyone. So, uh, it's the next day. Sorry that today's video is a little, um, collection of clips. Um, hi. Um, sorry for the sudden mood change. Um, I've been kind of going through a lot in my head recently and, um, just been really stressed about a lot of things. And, uh, one of them is this video, even though it's, like, not that big of a deal, but just, like, getting a video up just seems like it's such a anxiety-ridden experience. Um, I've just put so much pressure on myself with, like, the types of videos that I, I need to be posting, and, uh, I don't know. It's just so hard to not compare yourself to other people and just get... I don't know, like, I have to have the perfect title, I have to have the perfect thumbnail, like, it's just, it, it's so stressful, and, um, that, on top of everything else that I've been kind of dealing with mentally, has just, it, it's just a lot. Um, my mental state right now is not a good one, I'm not my happy Joey self that I normally am, and, um, I just feel really lost and, like, out of balance with myself and uh, YouTube is not a healthy place. It's not a great um, place for someone who's just kind of going through it just because it's it's a place where you can easily fall into a dark one. So easy to compare yourself to others and people present themselves and their lives in such a perfect way that it's very easy as a viewer to compare your current life to someone else's highlights and I fall into that as well. I end up comparing my mental state or just my current life and compare it to these perfect people that at least it seems like it's perfect and they have the most happy lives and I'm just like well damn what's wrong with me why don't I have that and I've also been going through a lot of just unstability and instability I don't know the word um my life just feels totally just uh, I don't I don't have both feet on the ground right now I just feel like I'm being like whipped around every direction and I don't know where to go I'm so lost right now <laughs> um if you guys don't know I sold my house last year and since then I have been kind of like homeless I, ha I don't have a home right now I'm just kind of like bouncing from hotel to apartment to Airbnb to Airbnb and it's just it's taken its toll on me to say the least um, it's affected my mental state of health my relationship with my boyfriend my relationship with my friends, my relationship with you guys, my whole work schedule is just totally out of whack. Like, um, I've been in this constant state of mind of, oh, I'm going to be moving in two weeks. And then that gets moved and it's another two weeks and then another two weeks. And then suddenly it's nine months later and I'm just like, what just happened? Like how I just feel like I'm being taken advantage of so much and, um, I, I just feel 
out of control. Um, so, there's been a lot. And another huge thing is I haven't been with my dogs for the past two months. They've been um, at like a, our daycare lady has been nice enough to hold them while we're at our current Airbnb. Um, Cause my current place that I'm staying at doesn't allow dogs. And <laughs> it's funny because part of the reason why I got a new place is because I wanted them to have more space and a yard to play in and I'll probably do a whole nother video on just why we haven't moved in um, but right now I can't because I don't want to cause any more delays by causing drama between me and the people who have um, made my life a living hell the past couple of months but um, I don't know maybe one day that will come to light but for now, got to keep my mouth shut so I can get into this place and kind of rebuild my life and just kind of get back on track with things because right now I just, I don't feel healthy and I'm not really sure what else to do. So, anyways, I'm sorry to you guys for <laughs> rambling this past five minutes about how horrible my life is. Uh, even though it's really not, it's just, um, challenging right now. I'm just going through a lot of challenges and I'll be fine. And I just wanted to share a real moment with you guys. A real moment of frustration. Go ahead, you can judge me all you want. Um, I'm putting this out there for <laughs> you guys, hopefully in a way that's a way for me to just connect deeper with you guys and be real and honest, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to take this as me complaining about a privileged life that I have. Um, but regardless if that's true to you or not, um, it doesn't change the fact that I am going through um, some pain in my life and um, might not seem as painful as some other things going on in the world, which is very true. But, um, just because it's not, um, comparable to some other things going on doesn't mean that it's still not painful. So, um, I just wanted to, I guess, vent for a moment with you guys and, um, let you know where I'm at. So anyways, sorry the video had a turn of, uh, its mood, but... That's just what life is. Sometimes there's some happy moments and sometimes there's some moments where you just can't anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I love ya. I'm gonna go cry. Um, <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you.